there. You be Lebowski, I be Lebowski. Tis a wondrous, strange comedy of errors. But I be a man of business, as I imagine you are. Tell me what you'd have me do for you. Sir, I, uh, I possess a rug that, I faith, tied the room together. You sent Brand to messenger on horseback. He informed me. How dost thou find me most fit for business? They sought thee, these two gentlemen. I shall repeat, you sent Brant a message on horseback, he informed me. Then thou art aware it twas thy rug, sir, that was the target of this crime? Was it I, sir, who had a varlet's gift to rain a shower on commanded rugs, and to set in a shower of gold, I faith? Not in person, sir, but if a man is his name and his reputation his indelible ink stain, surely thy sea of care is tormented. What tongue shall smooth thy name? Make me to understand, sir, for you are as slow of speech as I have step, and I am unsatisfied in motive. When upon any carpet consideration the rain it raineth within these city walls, must I stand accountable? Or is you one of a thousand rogues fishing for sixpence betwixt another man's purse strings? Are you a laborer, Master Lebowski, earning what you eat, getting that you wear? Let me not to the marriage of false impressions deny impediments. I am not Master Lebowski. Thou art Master Lebowski. I am the knave, called the knave, or his knaveness, or mayhap knaver, or mayhap el knaverino, in the manner of the Spaniard, if brevity be not in thy soul or wit. A knave by any other name would abide just as well. Hast thou employment, sirrah? Surely you hope not to pledge fealty, nor till the earth in such roughly fashioned armor, invested in motley, clad as a jack-a-dandy, on a Sunday? I know not what weekday, friend, is this? I tire, and cannot tarry. I am more busy than the laboring spider, and dwell on the iron trade as a man of constant pursuits. Thus I pray you, you this way, and I that way. I must protest, the knave mindeth. This will not stand, this unchecked aggression. For your strength of mighty kings and masters of the earth did not keep your wife from owing, a borrower and a lender being. How does my wife? She's not the issue here. And my shrewish wife have a way with will. But I toil in hopes that she will shed her abilities, rush and unadvised, and live within her allowance, which is in very ample virtue, her mortal failures are her burden, as surely as your rug is your burden, and verily the burden of every man be his own, and tis in themselves that they be thus or thus. I'll blame none for the loss of my legs. Some men of Orient birth robbed them from me as spoils of war. Faith, who stole my legs stole trash, and I sallied forth and achieved in any aspect. Some are born achievers, some achieve greatly, and some have achievement thrust upon them. Beseech me not! Box upon it. Ah, indeed, a box upon it. Tis that answer to everything. Your merry revels have ended, sir. Let us condole the night. The rogues lost. The rogues have always lost. We'll always lose. And so will be tomorrow and tomorrow. Good Master Lebowski, did you enjoy meeting my honorable lord? Truly, sir, no woman most gentle. He bade me take any rug in the castle.